ក្នុងនាមជាប្រសងសកម្មក្នុងការពីកិច្ចការពីសិទ្ធិមនុស្សក៏ដូចជាក្នុងរឿងដែលកើតឡើងនៅក្នុងប្រទេសកម្ពុជាគឺជាបញ្ហាសង្គមគឺជាបញ្ហាដែលកើតឡើងដោយនយោបាយដែលមិនប្រកបទៅដោ
walk along the Buddhism path, pathway to so this is the Buddhism pathway that has to liberate and also to protect human rights in general. សូដូចនេះប្រសងទាំងអស់អង្គមិនថានៅក្នុងប្រទេសកម្ពុជានៅក្រៅប្រទេសសំបេតាព្រះមេតាជួរួមឲ្យដូចជាប្រពុទ្
คนแซนบ้านในใจได้เยอะพอเดือนหนึ่งล้านทั้งอ้อนทั้งแซนเดือนแพงใคร So to be fair, the United Nations Commission did independent investigation of our investigation. Hey, come by to our room and get in. Come, 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 come. 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 Come, And they concluded in a public report, you can find it on the internet, that not only was our report accurate, but that the Cambodian government had blocked all efforts at justice. Now, I know you know, or most of you know, everything I've told you. Now, I mentioned some numbers at the beginning, 11,485. Who knows what that is? You don't care. Anybody know what that is? 11,485. That is the number of days Hun Sen has been Prime Minister. I would be very happy if we never saw 11,486. But the important number I think is to remember is 12,200. Because that's the day, more or less, when the next election is scheduled. And all of us must continue to fight for free and fair elections, free of violence and intimidation, so that the Cambodian people can vote, they can vote freely, they can vote for who they want, and if the opposition wins, that would be the last day of Hun Sen's power. ก็คนเอ่อยืนบ้องคล้ายแต่แย่อย่างไม่บอกไปแต่ก็ตามสำคัญนะในทางยืนเราเรียนเอ่อคราวโชว์ลังหรือคราวโชว์ลังต่อว
they done a great job, yes. but you know, this event we we spent so much time, so we are a little uh, tired. That's the reason. So please bear with us. So I propose, and it's easy for me to propose because you have to do the work, but we will help at Human Rights Watch, and I'm guessing Amnesty will help. We must have some ceremonies and seminars and meetings in October to demand that the 25th anniversary be observed. It is a legal obligation of every country. It is a treaty that they signed in Paris. They must, they must work for a free and democratic Cambodia. <laughs> Okay, uh, Okay. So let me finish by saying, let's use the 25th anniversary of the Paris Peace Agreements as a way to push governments around the world to ensure that we have free and fair elections in July 2017. Or and I, prom I promise you that we will never stop until we have justice for all of you in Cambodia. Yeah. The elections in Cambodia are 2017 for the local elections and 2018 for the national elections. Brad Adams talked about the importance of get, getting international monitoring for the election. But if we wait until 2017 and 2018 to get that get people on the ground to monitor, it's not going to work. It'll be too late. So in, this, in addition to putting pressure on the U.S. government to do something about it now and put monitors on the ground now, we also have to do those same pressures, or you do, with the four international election monitoring organizations that have the capability of monitoring what's going on in the electoral process as well as the elections themselves. <laughs> 
ยึดตรวจเป็นเมื่อการบังคับในประเทศกัมพูชีโดยที่องค์การนั้นเกิดสังเกตการตรวจอำนาจการในการบังคับ because one of the people one of the people that Hun Sen has threatened with arrest and actually uh, has arrested and, su and subjected to criminal prosecution is the deputy director of the electorate, the National Election Commission in Cambodia. How are there going to be fair elections when the people who are in charge of the election process have been put in jail by Hun Sen? There are four election monitoring groups in the United States that have the capability of helping. The International Foundation for Electoral Systems, IFES, IFES. Uh, the Carter Center in Atlanta, President Carter's group. The International Democratic Institute, IDI. I mean, IDI. And the International Republican Institute, IRO, which is the group that Ron Abney was representing in Cambodia in 1995 when the attack, the grenade attacks, took place. I mean, he was injured, he was wounded by one of the grenades, and it was because of that that the U.S. FBI, Federal Bureau of Investigation, was able to go to Cambodia to investigate and to find out that Hun Sen and Hun Sen's bodyguards were responsible for that grenade attack. Here is an interesting connection between the past and the present that you should take note of.